I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uh, this wonderful morning. I welcome you to the TSP, the Scripture Prescription, your morning daily dose of the Word of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm excited to come to you this wonderful Friday just to share with us the Word of our Lord. And it's important that we really uh, focus on the things that the Lord is speaking to us. Thank you so much, uh, all of you, for finding opportunity uh, to be with us this wonderful morning. And I'm excited, as always, to see you right out there. Uh, Daryl, Jael, uh, Lena, John, Christine, as always, God bless you so very much. And I'm excited. And this morning, I just want to focus on being slow to speak, slow to speak. That is the subject matter of our conversation this wonderful morning. Eunice, uh, happy birthday, though belated, but welcome you again this wonderful morning for being with us uh, on the TSP. God bless you so much. I can see you right out there. Now, I want to read the Bible in the book of James, chapter number 1. We're going to read verse 19 and 20. James, chapter number 1. We're going to read verse 19 and 20. My friend Simon, I uh, welcome you in the name of Jesus. Godwin, I thank the Lord so much for you being there this wonderful morning. A lot of you this morning. The subject matter is slow to speak. So I read the book of James, chapter number 1. We're reading verse 19 and 20. And this is what the Bible tells us this morning. So then, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. For the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. I'd like us to read also from the message translation. We can get some meaning into it. Post this at all the intersections, dear friends. Lead with your ears, follow up with your tongue. And let anger struggle along the rear. God's righteousness does, doesn't grow from human anger. Beloved, there are three things that I would like to speak about this wonderful morning that the message translation puts it out so clear. Lead with your ears. That means be swift to hear. Not by your tongue. Now, these are three things I want us to speak about. Wait, let us be swift to hear. Some of the greatest mistakes in the world have been made because people didn't hear clearly what was said. And over the years, I've learned an attribute where when you hear an instruction, you go to ask again, what did you mean? Did you mean this? Is it what you said? Because if you took time to hear, then you would be able to act accordingly. And sometimes we need to know that how we hear can be very significant. And I'll give you an example. Many times as a young person, I've asked a few young people to go out and look at a venue where we'll be able to do, say, a crusade meeting or just a gospel evangelistic meeting. And I tell them, go to a place and uh, just find us a place where we can set up our speakers and everything else. Now, one person will just go and come back and say, yes, the event, uh, the, the venue is available. But somebody would go further and say and, and find out. Uh, do we have electricity in the ground? Uh, how many people can fit in that ground? Do we have a place where we can set our equipment? Things like those. But one person will just go there and come back and give a report. Yes, we have a ground. They didn't bother to go beyond what they had. This is important. So be swift to hear. And be quick to interrogate what you have had. And ask questions if you have to ask. If you have to seek clarification, take a responsibility to ask, is this what you said? Is this what you meant? Even some of the spousal problems in, uh, in marriages, in places of work, in businesses, they will be sorted out a degree, up to a degree of over 60% if people just sought clarity on a conversation or an instruction that was given. This is very, very important. And I pray in the name of of Jesus Christ as you set out to go to do whatever you do this Friday morning just be quick to hear and where you need clarification where you didn't hear properly where you did not understand properly you take responsibility to seek clarification that is the swiftness of hearing next is to speak uh, to slow to speak did you know that if we just listen to people 
when there are psychologists who tell you that when the people are expressing their issues to them, some of them are simply addressed because somebody cared to listen. Then we took time to listen. We did not interject. We did not contribute. We did not say, I understand. Now, sometimes we say we understand on things we don't even know. Now, if somebody has lost a loved one, maybe somebody has lost a husband or a child or a mother or a father, how for heavenly sake would you say, I understand? What do you understand? At that particular time, you haven't lost anybody. So what would you understand? You would never understand. You only can empathize or sympathize, but you would not really understand what this person is going through. If a, a person has lost a child, what would you understand when you haven't lost a child? You can only empathize. So, in the context of the scripture I'm reading, slow to speak. You must have an art, an attribute, just to be slow to speak. In every conversation, listen and be slow to speak. Some of the problems or issues in marriages in society <laughs> will be sorted out if people are just slow to speak. That word you're just about to give out, if you didn't release it, there will be peace. That word that is burning in your mind, you want just to abuse somebody, you just want to say something reckless, if you just didn't speak that word, huh? Things will be better. Number two, slow. Number three, slow to anger. Slow to anger. But Bible tells us that anger does not work out or produce the righteousness of God. So that means where there is anger, there are likely to be no righteousness. This morning, I urge you, swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. Anger is destructive. The emotional energy. Can be destructive. Deal with those three things, my friend, and the Lord will bless you. Shall we pray? Father, we bless you. I just honor you because of your word. Continue to glorify yourself in our lives. Help us to be slow to speak, swift to hear, and slow to anger in the name of Jesus. Lord, I bless you and I worship you in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Shalom. God bless you. Next Friday is the next TSP live service, 6 to 8 p.m., Lots of people have confirmed on the live event on Facebook. You might just be the one who has not done it. But we look forward to a great time. This meeting will be a steamer club already confirmed and paid for. We cannot afford to miss. Please don't miss. You've been an ardent follower of the TSP. Show up and you'll be blessed in the name of Jesus. 6 to 8 p.m. on 1st of December, we're going to have our fourth and final TSP service for the year 2017. God bless you so much, and I look forward to seeing you, not just on Friday, but even tomorrow at 5.45 a.m. on the TSP, your morning daily dose of the word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you, and have a wonderful weekend in the presence of the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.